So just before we start, I just wanted to let you guys know that on Tuesday, the similar video did go up. Unfortunately, that was an accident. If you've seen that video, most of what you're going to see is very much similar. If you haven't, don't worry, just enjoy. <laughs> Hello guys, I'm CFC Alex and welcome back. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing. I'll massively appreciate it. Also, if you like contents like these, give a like too. Now, as you guys have known by now, Frank Lampard has officially signed for Chelsea Football Club as the new manager and he will be taking over from Maurizio Sarri, who a few days ago has left for Juventus. Now, as you guys know, I have been a massive advocate for Maurizio Sarri. I have stood by him with all the criticisms that people have aimed at him. And I was very saddened by the fact that he had left. I felt... Let's just say that I felt disappointed. I felt a bit of frustration that we couldn't keep hold of a manager who, despite all the odds turned against him, despite all a lot of people in the fan base criticizing him for his performances, despite the calls from a lot of people in our fan base calling him for it to be sacked. Managed to achieve top four. Managed to achieve the Europa League final and win it. Managed to achieve the Carabao Cup final. Unfortunately, lost on penalties. Not down to him. Mainly down to the fact that, you know, it's penalties and it's just based on luck. So, you know, you can't really blame the manager for this. Not only that, he also won his first major trophy at Chelsea. And I think there is more to come with him at Juventus. And, you know, obviously with Cristiano Ronaldo there, you know, there's the likes of Dybala, all of those players. And most likely you have the Ligt that is linked with Juventus. And that's going to be an absolute formidable defense if he does sign. Um, yeah, they have Ramsey that is coming in on a free transfer. There's rumored links of Rabio as well. I mean, honestly, I <laughs> uh, next season is going to be a very interesting one for Sarri. Um, I think mainly it's going to be relatively easy league-wise. I think they're pretty much the favourites to win the league. The question is how far can he take Juventus in the Champions League? And to me, if he takes Juventus to the Champions League final or semi-final, within the next season or two, we may have just lost a manager that has only begun his career trophy-wise. And we might live to regret it. Now, look, don't get me wrong. I am happy that, you know, Frank Lampard, an idol, and obviously a legend at the club, is coming back. But at the same time, there is a difference between Sarri and Lampard where Sarri has years and years of experience and Lampard only has one year of experience at Derby. There's a huge contrast between the two. Now, he does have some experience, you know, learning tactically from managers and applying it at Derby, but he only finished sixth with Derby in the championship, which, of course, I mean... You know, a lot of people did not expect P Derby to actually finish sixth. Um, a lot of people were quite surprised. And they did achieve the playoff final. Unfortunately, they just didn't go through. But it's just when you go from a championship side like that all the way to a top Premier League side, a top six Premier League side, it's a huge contrast. And my feeling is, with the players that we currently have, does he have the right players this season to really be able to implement his tactics? Because I feel like the squad we currently have 
is not that far apart compared to the one of Antonio Conte that he implemented. And it would have needed a few sales from the likes of Marcus Alonso, uh, Danny Drinkwater, and, and, and so on and so forth to really be able to change it. And I feel like this transfer window, obviously not exactly an ideal situation. But for the youth, however, for the youngsters, it could be a great opportunity to rise and to give a statement showing, yeah, okay, fine. This top side couldn't really sign any big players, but I'm here. I can prove my worth. Let me show you what I can do. So I think the big winners out of, obviously, Frank Lampard signing, it has to be, definitely has to be the youngsters. Because not only will they have a manager who is not afraid to play youth, they will also have an assistant manager who managed the under-18s, who has experience with youngsters. He was successful with the academy team, winning, if I remember correctly, a quadruple in the season before he left, and the treble as well in the season before that. So in that sense, I really think having Jody Morris could be very helpful for Frank Lampard. There's also Petr Cech that's coming back as... Um, what is it again? It's an advisor for like a uh, technical advisor and performance advisor. Um, you also have Joe Cole, who's an academy coach. You also have obviously Paulo Ferreira, who's there. Um, you have Claude Michaelelli, who's also there. Um, there's also rumored links for Didier Drogba, for um, Michael Balak. So it kind of feels like the squad from 2007-08, the band of 2007-08, is coming back together. Now onto the main losers or main loser out of the situation. In my opinion, I definitely think Jorginho is one of the main losers out of this situation. The reason why is because, you know, obviously he was implemented into the Spurs team um, at Napoli thanks to Sarri. He came over to Chelsea with Sarri and you know obviously Sarri implemented his style and made sure that Jorginho was a regular starter and obviously because you know he needed him in order to implement his style but then you also have the fact that when you look at Frank Lampard's style it's very different because the thing about Frank Lampard is that the ball doesn't the play doesn't revolve around the CDM. It revolves around the defense, the center backs and the full backs. It's them that really dictate the play. Whereas for Sarri, it would be the CDM that dictates the play. And unfortunately, that means that basically Jorginho will not be able to be played as a regista. And he'll have to do a lot more instead of basically playing that uh, that way. And so that's basically going to be an issue for him, I think. And yeah, um, I mean, I guess we'll see what happens, but I think Jorginho could be on his way out. Now, obviously, as you guys know, Kovacic has decided to stay at Chelsea permanently after both Chelsea and Real Madrid have agreed a fee of 40.5 million pounds. Now, since Kovacic also played on loan for Chelsea for the past season, and he was also officially registered for the following season, that means that basically, you know, with the transfer ban, he can still play for us. Now, contract-wise, he basically has a contract for five years. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see what Kovacic can do. I think, as I see it, uh, tactically speaking, I think he will be going, um, be inserted into that CDM role. Whether or not he'll be the main starter or not, that's the real question. But to me, he has a good chance of being the main starter in that CDM position as a ball-winning midfielder. Because we all know that at the CDM position, Frank Lampard likes to play a ball-winning midfielder. So it would be good to see if he's going to play in that position. Anyways, um, I hope Frank Lampard can succeed at Chelsea. 
I am slightly optimistic, although when we do have a manager that has only managed for a season, it's something that I've never seen before. Uh, so it's definitely going to be a new experience compared to what we've had previously and what I've had definitely previously um, as a Chelsea supporter. So it will be interesting to see how this pans out. I am optimistic. I don't want to be pessimistic. I'm not going to criticize harshly Frank Lampard. I'm only going to do it fairly when he really deserves it. Um, but I will praise him if he definitely exceeds the expectations that is, you know, that we as fans expect of him. But anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Please leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to the channel. I massively appreciate it. And once you've done that, press the bell notification button. I'll catch you guys later.